Hi there, and uh, welcome to a uh, non-classroom-related Mr. Holt Maths. Uh, thought I'd just do a bit of um, an algebra session, a bit on paper, see how it goes down with you guys. But what I'm looking at is um, expanding bracket. Short, there we go. So we're focused in now. So what we've got is uh, three brackets y minus two. Now it's what I like to call the shark fin method. So when we draw it, you see, what happens is it kind of, if you like, looks like a shark fin. A little slight shark fin. And what we have to remember is these lines represent a multiply. So 3 multiplied by y, well, that's going to give us the 3y. What I like to do is, I like to put the, the minus sign in. Whatever sign's in the middle there, I like to put in. And then 3 times 2 gives us 6. It just saves us messing around with pluses and minuses. If you put the sign in then you can deal with it afterwards. So that is actually the answer, because the question might say expand the following, and this is all it requires. There's no solving. We've got another example here. Always draw the shark fin in first. So there we go. The shark fin will change. Oh dear, I almost drew my table. We'll draw, uh, change over time. We've kind of got a big shark fin here, a big droopy one. That's fine. So we end up with x times 2. Now, a lot of people end up writing this. And uh, we've got to get out of the habit of that. x2, because what it actually is, 2x, numbers first, plus sign there. So let's put that in. Now, x times x. Again, a lot of people tend to put this. x times x. No. x times x x squared just like any two numbers at times together for example 9 times 9 it's going to give you 81 it's the 9 squared so x times x x squared and that's your final answer this one's a little bit more difficult because what you can see here is got the minus here but that's okay we'll deal with that in time so put the shark fin in i love that shark fin so we end up with minus 2 or negative 2 times by the b gives us minus 2b regularly no one has problems with that there's a minus sign there so let's put that in then i'm doing minus 2 or negative 2 times by 4 and that gives us minus 8 or negative 8 because a positive times a negative gives us a negative now this is where some people might get confused but what we can see here is we've actually got two negatives and if we did some side working it's something that I'd like people to remember, but if we put this on the side, if we have positive, positive, or negative, negative, the answer is going to give us a positive, just like if we had a negative, positive, or a positive, negative, the answer is going to be a negative, or change 2. So if we rewrite the question there, minus 2b, the two negatives, as you can see here, become positive. And there's the final answer, minus 2b or negative 2b plus the 8. We can see here we're just trying to, oh, we're missing a bracket there. We're just trying to get a bit more complicated by putting in something a bit, a bit more substantial on the outside. But don't forget the shark fin. Uh, don't let the fact that I've put the shark fin there on the x fool you. I'm doing the whole of 2x. So the whole of 2x times 4, I'm doing 4 lots of 2x. So 2x and 2x and 2x and 2x. It's going to give you 8x. Minus signs there, as we've discussed. 2x times x. Well, the 2 is not actually times in by anything, so I end up with a 2 on its own. But x times x, x squared. And there's your, exa uh, there's your answer. 8x minus 2x squared. Last example. The reason I put this in, we've got a coefficient and a letter and the sign. So let's go for it. So we've got negative 3y times y. Don't forget the shark fin. It's getting a bit... You can see the shape changes, but the idea is the same. So we end up with minus 3y squared. Reason being, y times y gives us y squared. Minus 3 times, essentially, there's an imaginary 1 there. Can't see it. Put the minus sign in. Minus 3y times 2. 2 lots of minus 3y is going to give us minus 
or y. And as discussed on a previous question, if you've got two signs together in between two lots of, well, either numbers, units, algebra, either way, if you've got two signs together like this, let's not forget that minus minus is going to give us the plus. So rewrite the answer 3y squared plus 6y. And there's your answer. So expanding. That's all you're looking for. Let's do a bit of turn around here. Hope that's helped you. Just a just a quick uh, video really to help you on expanding brackets, shark fin. We'll look at two uh, double brackets in the future, and hopefully we'll do the uh, smiley face method for that one. But I hope this has helped. And uh, any comments, just write them below. Any other videos you need, write them below. Thank you very much. You've been great. I've been Mr. Holt.